Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the Pixel Extended 11 for our Redmi Note 5 or the Redmi 5 Plus, which is also codenamed as Vince. So, without wasting more time, uh, let's start with this. So guys, this is the Pixel Extended ROM and it's uh, Android version 11, obviously. Now, new ROMs all will be Android 11, which I'll be reviewing and some ROMs which may have been left out or still updating Android 10. I will also review them if you like them you can just you know go through that rom and you can update it weekly then as you can see it says extended version is 2.3 so it is a minor 3.3 version which the major 2.x version is uh, resembles the android 11 then the january security patch the 2021 security patch is there obviously then we have the dark ages which is the best con uh, kernel considered for the redmi 5 plus device or the redmi note 5 code named as wins device so yeah we have everything up to date so guys as the name says pixel extended it is fully a pixel experience rom but with some extensions so let's directly check them out first uh, now as you can see when you open the settings you will get this tab the pixel den and here we go it starts with in call vibrations uh, which is the system tab and here we have heads up customization too now in call vibrations are really you know uh, important to some people in their day-to-day -day life so yeah that's why that, that's the basic stuff we need uh which is not present in the pixel experience rom but yeah here we have so you can you now just think of an upgrade here so yeah this is the miscellaneous uh clock screen stuff media cover art uh, fp authentication and f40 which is not there on wins so don't worry about that then here we have some multi icon stuff which is absolutely status bar stuff and show notification count if you want to see the count of the notifications then you can enable this then we have here uh, status bar double tap to sleep some quick gestures vibrate on touch then we have here enable advanced restart which is coming really handy if you are using a lot of mods and stuff then you can use that then screen of power button touch also comes handy you don't have to even uh, turn on the device for the torch and most of the times you are opening it so yeah you can enable this just normal basic stuff and here playback control with the volume keys and the volume panel style also you can choose with OU tiled uh, sorry tiled or AOSP normal I have the compact one which is looking really cool and compact as it says now that is not the only customization part present into display you have the theming stuff inbuilt uh, into the theming tab so yeah we have accent color primary color head body font uh, icon shape and status bar icons too so accent color we have a lot of accent colors you can choose from uh, yep this one too uh, you can choose uh, orange color i think that is yes obviously everyone knows that then primary color you can choose with a lot of varieties here you can see eye soother ocean dark blue lead black my favorite is the one plus dark and the charcoal black because it is uh, you know it does it is not actually amoled and it is not the asp gray so i love it the dark gray color then headline body fonts we have some cool fonts here you can check uh sorry not this this samsung uh, one font and a lot of fonts i am using the circular std font standard i guess then icon shape we have these icon shapes and yes obviously all of the new icon shapes are also there the vessel pebble the tapered uh, re rectangle the heart and the tiered uh, teardrop are just uh, basic asp stuff then status bar icons we have here uh two new icons uh, sorry three sam kai and vector i don't know what these icons are but yeah it looks a little bit of different with the normal one so yeah i'm choosing them obviously you choose something different which is not there so yeah that is it for the customizations and yes this is how the extensions are and this is what differs from the pixel experience rom now conclusion about this rom is it is a bit laggy if you are enabling blur obviously the device is old you will feel soft you know uh, the fps dropping or lags or uh, whatever you can call that but yeah little bit slutter if you have the blurs enabled like just listen to me again you can disable the blur and then you will get a cool experience just like pixel experience rom which i have uh, also reviewed so you can check that out too uh, link is here in the i button you can check that out if you want a cool nice experience and 
yep that is it the boot animation is basic google boot animation white one so no need to show that and all that stuff in next in the video so if you guys like the video what you need to do is to press the like button and if not then the dislike button and also you can press subscribe button if you want to watch more of the videos and also you can suggest me something i'm out of ideas actually not actually out of ideas i have a lot of videos to make but i don't get that much time now so sorry for that but you can also suggest some new things to make i will also try to put videos out soon like very very soon but i'm doing something related to my career so i am not actually getting some time actually i'm weak at time management so that's why yeah see that's how i waste time so bye bye see you guys soon and please take care uh take care of everyone else along with you because this is not a good time to only think of yourself so yep bye bye see you guys soon bye bye and take care bye bye